Hey, people injured here, 3v3. Hades wastes, blue team. Alias, with a brother captain, a very durable hero, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful support and disruption fighting in melee. From the looks of the chat there, maybe Alias went uh, random and got a brother captain. Alongside, Sergeant Retardo K. Aquila with a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee with a refractor shield. Rather than off the blue team, Lowers Apothecary, support hero fighting in melee combat by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. This is a cool looking color scheme, I think. Look at that. Red team, we have Grunk, a very appropriately named war boss. A melee hero walks through objects, very strong support and disruption. The Death Skulls elite scheme here. The big old helmet there. Alongside, Kalexus is a warlock. A melee spellcaster that leaps into combat, some powerful disruption and support. Lots of pew pew for the sentinel and rounding off the teams. I believe you say this, uh, Karas? I think is how you say it. So we'll go with that. With a force commander, a very good offense, fighting in melee with some powerful support and disruption. Up against the apothecary there. This is the Imperial Fists Elite Scheme version. Force Commander is going to get in flank on those scouts and smack him with his chainsword. That 40 DPS chainsword he has. Put the carry in amongst those uh, tapped marines. I believe he's is he 25 or 30 DPS? They put the carry. I think it's I think it's 25. Sentinel backs away and survives. Now it's double guardians versus double guardsmen, and the guardsmen with their volume of fire are winning. Sentinel should not have got back into that fight. Aquila loses it. We have some shotgun scouts here to help control the force commander. So they've already used their blasts though. And he's, t he's peeling through them. They got very low there. He maybe should have chased to get one more hit, I think. Apothecary heals himself, but needs to be careful. Has some support from the guardsmen now. Apothecary, one hit point. Apothecary does get away. Sanguine Chainsword is coming. Got a big chunk of XP. Because these Tats Marines just dropped a model and another model. Did that level him? No, he's getting little bit of, little bits of XP here because he damaged these units. And then when they eventually die, you get a portion of the XP. Uh-oh. Warlock with the Immolate on the blob of double guardsmen there. Did he not destruct her afterwards? Maybe he needs to be level 2 to do that, or level 3 or something. West side. Orcs running away. We have sluggers with burners. They do have the VP though. Purgation squad up for Alias. And they have the double shooters still in play. In the center. Warlock going to grab the wreck point I think. They should be shifting over to support the west side I think. The contested VPs here. Always got to have your eye on the contested VP when you're the central player. I mean obviously you want to try and support both sides. But the contested VP is where the action is, where games are won, generally. There's some Daka for the brother captain. His big old brother captain face. He's got a strike squad up with the Tomes of Titan. They're kind of a support melee unit. But they can throw out some hand lightning here. Gets a little, little bit more powerful when they get their tier 2 Justicar. Oh, and there's the energy burst as well. Or psychic burst, I think it's called. Maybe it is energy burst. It basically snares a unit and also drains some of their energy away. Pretty damn good. Shooter boys got messed up, but here comes Sluggers and here comes the war boss. There's his stomp. But the captain's quite low. Purgation got way too close and took way too long to run. Almost went down there. War boss and Sluggers against the Strike Squad. Strike Squad holding their own quite well there. The Sluggers did have their burners. As I said previously, which does give them a couple of power weapons. I'm surprised they got away with two models there. In the mid, big old grenade launcher in the face of, is this triple, triple guardians? It is. And now they're onto the power. They could get a couple of gens, I think. East side, contested power with two gens on it from Lauer. Force Command is going to try and steal it though, and Scouts can't stand up to double tactical Marines here, having to back away. They did knock back that Force Commander, but couldn't stop him forever. And Devastators on the field now for Lauer. Brother Kerry did get level 2, got that Sanguine Chainsword to help him brawl. What is this? 
Hawks pushing all the way up onto the power. It's only a couple of sluggers, but I think they only get a couple of burners, don't they? So they had all their burners on that on that power gen. That was uh, aiming what's that. I'm not sure why the knob leader went all that way up. But he's alright. Double purgation now for Alias. They can transition into some really good anti-vehicle or basically anti-everything from the silencers in tier 2. That sanguine chainsaw giving that heal on hit. We have purification rights and armor of purity now. Can we throw out that heal more often? Uh oh. Force Commander tried to face tank the Devastators, which was weird. He did have his shield up, but he didn't pop defend. Maybe it was already popped before. Triple tax here for Karas. Hopefully I'm saying that somewhat correctly, maybe a little bit. Here's the war boss and the bang bang hammer. Whoa, look at the speed of these fellas after the bang bang hammer buffs. That was nuts. Brother Captain is down. Alias says two, but they got a little support here from Aquila. Again, the purgation, a little bit isolated, lots of Daka here comes Sluggers, having to back away. Lucky that the Guardians didn't move up a little bit. If they spotted that opening a little bit earlier, could have moved up in position for the retreat grenade. All reliable grenade launcher doing some work there. But I don't think they can hold against this. So red team, I think, are going to retain the west side. Maybe even get onto the power. There's only one gen here. East side, meanwhile, where brother fights brother. Crack and bolts for those fellas. And they're just running. What are they up to? They get into that wreck point. Is that a really important wreck point for these guys? It seems very, very important. I think they're, they're just trying to keep pressure on the Devastators or something. This is a very strange place to find yourself in, Karas. I think they were trying to keep proximity to the Devastators to put pressure on, but they should have just backed away, I think. Ouch, good grenade from Laura. Takes out a couple of Marines. Who's going to go Tier 2 first? I think they're both floating, aren't they? Yeah, they're both floating. They both go Tier 2 basically at the same time. 333 to 500. Some Daka for the Catachins, but double shooters here being flanked. There's that energy burst again. And a big old retreat. Sluggers are full of models, but they have lost some health. And there's a model dying immediately when I said that. Devastators. Force Commander's going for them with his defend up from the Chainsword and Storm Shield. This is not a good idea, Harass. I mean, gets in there, but took so much damage doing it. Was it even worth it? Just back off. If you find yourself against a setup team and the position is bad, back away. Setup teams need to tear down and set up again. You can often catch them moving. It's often a good way to deal with them. Warboss charging in with his angry bits. Level 3, done some work that guy. 316 to 493. So much up. We've got Dark Creepers up now for Kalexus. They have dropped one of their guardians. We have silences for the purgation. Effective against all targets and gives them rending, which gives a damage bonus against heroes. Didn't they change that? Hmm. I thought they changed how what rending did. I guess not, unless they didn't update the tooltip. Purgation have dropped a model there. These guys still have the incinerators. Weird boy on the way for Grunt should do very well against this stuff. Stormtroopers were replaced by Alias. And Ogrins are up for a pillar. What is this? Laura gets the VP. Devastators must run. And is that triple plasma guns? That's triple plasma guns for Karas. It's a lot of plasma. It's 30 DPS per plasma gun, not to mention the bolters there. And you can use Kraken bolts as well to buff the plasma damage. Razor back from Lauer. And they have absolutely no anti vehicle here, Karas. 
I mean, Plasma are getting some brute armor hits. Look at that. They actually did a decent job. They're just going triple sergeants as well. It's a very strange build from Karas, but hey, they're having fun. Maybe get some Devastators of your own up, I think. That might shut down Lauer quite well, actually. Get Vengeance Rounds Devastators. This Plasma Gun's doing their thing. Not a super efficient way to shoot Guardsmen, but... I mean, in terms of cost. But they don't like Plasma either, it turns out. Fire Dragon's on the way for Calexus. Power Bash here with Plasma. They are going to take some damage from that Heavy Bolter of the Razorback. They didn't quite get the Power Bash there on that generator. What are these guys doing? Shoot the gens, fellas. Orcs marauding through the Ordo Malleus lines with a friendly Warlock in tow. Who's got the Warp Throw? Red Team retake the west side. 316 to 344. These guys are bashing now. They're bashed way slower now since the uh, the damage to generators was low. Look how slow that is. For for three incinerators, I guess maybe it was uh, brought in line with like a tactical marine flamer or something. It it feels even slower than that though. I'm not sure if it is. Pushing up is Laura with the Razorback. Ogrins will appreciate the Razorback as well a lot. They can reinforce off it. Scouts, thinking hard about the cap. Nope. Apothecary is going to do the decapping, it looks like. Scouts are going to repair. And they're on the power here. Tier 3 for Aquila. Fire Dragon's looking to get onto the Razorback, but there's an awful lot of stuff in the way. Warp throw. Warboss charges in. Also gives him a damage bonus and a health regen bonus. It's a good grenade. Oh, it would have been good if it was a little bit further forward. The Fire Dragons are shooting at what they can see for now. Warboss is in there, having to retreat now, but did create a little bit of space. Beamy Death Gun might get a shot here. Oh, look at that damage. Weird Boy could also get a shot. Yes, and here comes the Force Commander with a Power Fist. It's going to be enough. Down it goes. And here comes all that Plasma. And the Zap thrown in too. Power Fist versus Sanguine Chainsword. It's not a good fight for the Apothecary. Oh, it might go down actually. Yes, it does go down. Force Commander gets to level 2. And the attacks are starting to get the XP as well. Level 2, level 2. And I think the other one's level one. Yeah. Blue team taking the west side. We have a plasma cannon. Grey Knight Dreadnought. But the captain with the unending purge. And red team are going to get straight onto the VP. Maybe they can get onto the power too. Sluggers are already here. Uh oh. Plasma cannon hit him. Need to run, fellas. And this is a pretty effective blob cap. Karas may be a newer player here based on their build and this kind of behavior. But they're holding their own. They are holding their own. Are they gonna get suppressed? Nope, they backed away. 280 to 310. West side, war boss is kicking a power node. There we go, use your hammer. It's being built and he's very angry about this. Very angry. I think you still get the bang bang buff if you smack a generator. I think you do. And here comes a brother captain in amongst the shooters. They couldn't suppress him, of course. It's a big fella. War boss gets the stomp and runs. Good thing he ran too, because that plasma cannon came in there. Brother captain is persuaded to leave. They do have the beam eat for that dreadnought, of course. Kicking off on the east side. Big retreat from Karas. Fire Dragons and Dark Creepers pouring some damage on the Tactical Marines. They have double plasma as well, Lauer. All the plasma. Ogrin's getting in there. Dark Creepers should do good damage to them. Very close to dropping the model of their own though. 
and blue team are straight back onto that VP and they still have the west side 272 to 289 slight VP lead for red they had the contested VP for a bit longer I think but Eldar a little bit overwhelmed here come the well two of the attacks where's the other one still at base scouts are still at base too Force one is way ahead of everything else just isolating himself here and this is what happens look at the damage got a teleporter pack of course Ogren's getting in on the tactical marines mass retreat these guys still idle yeah he's a new player I think Karas a power claw war boss heavy armor on the way it's gonna have almost 2,000 hit points all of a sudden. Look at that. 900 hit points from the heavy armor. Smack. I think it should change his appearance way more than it does the heavy armor. I don't think if it... I don't know if it does anything, actually. 272 to 228. Still the 2 to 1 for blue. But they're getting some, some power bashing done, the red team here. Thanks to Grunk, who... Grunk has done quite well on this side. Infiltrated B me. Shoot the dreadnought, do this right there. There we go. One shot. Two shots. One more shot will do it. But the strike squad get onto them. So close. So very close. I guess the war boss couldn't get in there, eh? Yeah, it was a little bit too low. Very, very close. But the captain getting that heal on hit from the unending purge and. Holy Armor of Titan is in. So we can go all invulnerable. There it is. Or immortal, I think they call it. Yeah. Get stunned, though. And now he's no longer immortal. Look at that Daka. Shooter Boys. Shooter Boys hurt, man. Blue Team have had this power for a while, I think. Force Commander's capping here. His marines just kind of huddled around him. Now they have to fight a tank. How are you going to manage that? they got a tank of their own on the way. There we go. They will still have the power fist as well. Oh, there's armor of the Apothecary and now for Lauer. Level 3 Apothecary, 262 to 207. Aquila gets in there. And almost instantly goes down. Bloody hell, there's a lot of damage on that. Lord Kumasa. Fire Dragons on the tank did some good work. But Ogrins are on them. Where are they? Oh, they're attacking the Warlock. Ogrins definitely should have been on the Fire Dragons there, I think. They might still go down. Yep, Fire Dragons went down. That was not the time to try and push against the tank. A little bit more caution there. Fire Prism is up though for Kalexus and Lauer had a bit of a rough fight. Down, down to double tax, but does have a land raider on the way. And Karas has a predator tank. Force Commander did fall. I guess they went after the tank as well, eh? Should get a revive from there though. Where's that Warlock? Warlock is healing up, coming out of base now. Meanwhile, west side, we got a knob squad on the field for Grunk. And there's a rocks. Some good hits. It's a decent loop, I think. And a tank is right there. To try and finish off the Dreadnought. Fire Prism also getting shots. I think it's going to get away again. It does get away. Has the Maelstrom. But the captain with his Nemesis Demon Hammer now. Power Claw Warboss almost got in there. Oh, down he goes. Weird Boy got him. Weird Boy is level. He's in level 2. Uh oh. Double tax all blobbed up. Taking a lot of damage. Needs to run away, fellas. Are these guys going to make it? 13 hit points, I think. They're going to make it. Force Commander is back to their feet. Warlock with the still with the Immolator. 195 to 207. Warboss in the back lines. Rampaging around. Might go down, though. Lord Kumasar with the Emperor's Wrath and Fist of Brockus on the way. And with the way that those tactical marines are blob blobbing up, they could get a really effective Emperor's Wrath. 
It's a very expensive accessory, but when it hits, so, so good. Lots of repairs going on now. Land Red Redeemer is on the field. Is it going to go west? It looks like it's going to the east. Guess who wants to clean up that VP first? They scouts are on it. They're going to die so fast to this stuff. Down they go. I don't think Karas was paying attention there. They still have their tank and they still have their triple marines as well. Surprised that Laura hasn't replaced their Devastators or something. Oh, they've got Plasma Cannon on the way. I suppose they're worried about the full squad just teleporting on the Devastators. Pushing all the way up to the VP. And there's None Shall Fall from the Commissar. Also has Flat Jacket now. Predator Tank is chasing a Lehman Russ. Don't think you want to chase a Vanquish Lehman Russ, buddy. Lord Commissar is going to go down. Can they get the Lehman Russ? Oh, so close. So close. A line of tactical marines are throwing some decent damage out. There's an Eldritch. Dan Vader dodged it, though. Through sheer luck, I think. Kind of just moving forward there. Avatar on the way for Kalexus. Neiman Russ is getting repairs. West side, meanwhile, we have some paladins on the field. Nob Squad will, Nob Squad will gladly fight paladins, though. It's the Lightning Claws Terminators that they don't want to fight. And maybe Grey Knight Terminators with their splash damage, but even those guys. They'll gladly fight them, I think. You see these momentum rings here? They also have user choppers up from the war boss. War boss which ran away, by the way. I think they're too low to win this fight. Yeah, get tossed back by the weird boy. Who does have the war path. 20% damage resist is pretty damn useful. Yeah, it's going to be tough for the red team to get this VP back. With a Lehman Russ here and a land raider. There's a nuke. Should not have dropped it in isolation, but it, it's a it's a well placed nuke. Should have had something here though. They can probably just retreat back to the land raider and and come back, and it'll be fine. Look, Avatar is up. Harass is floating resources like crazy here. Force commander still down over there too. 101 to 157, a triple cap now for blue. Have they turned the corner? I think Grunk with the knobs has enough to certainly contest this west side, if not win the fight. There's the demolishing strike. But the captain then runs. Weird boy gets the stun on the paladins. A very brave strike squad running in there. That was not a good fight for those guys. The knob squad should be able to clean up it with the war boss support. That power claw. He should have kept the bang bang hammer, I think. Keep that bang bang hammer and send your knobs into an insane war frenzy. Double cap now for blue. I think they have this. Harass still not purchasing anything. Not sure what they're up to. Is it red? Are they waiting for the red for Terminators maybe? It's a bad call. Should have just purchased something. Could have got some last cannons up. Could have got a Predator tank. Could have switched these guys to missile launchers to threaten the two big vehicles here. Hawks take the west side though. Paladin's gonna be chased back. And they teleport away. I don't think you should still chase here, no. Back off. Try to stabilize a bit. Can I select the knob squad? I can't, there we go. Maybe even retreat the knobs off quickly to get them reinforced. 101 to 35, he could just use a cooler boys maybe. Oh, maybe not. Looted tank on the way now. 
Need a fair amount of requisition for cooler boys, I think. Power bashing. Late game power bashing. You love to see it. Move in, says Grunk. Yeah. I mean, I need the VP back, that's for sure. Got some really speedy tactical marines. This must be swift movement from the Warlock. They're going for the VP. They might get a decap. Emperor's Wrath hits a couple of them. A decap here from Kalexis. It was a decent idea from Karas making a big distraction, but they dropped one of their tactical marine squads. Those fellas died. And there's the game for the blue team. Look at his heroes at the end of the game. Level 3, brother captain. I think Grunk had the best of it over here in, in general. I mean, had the VP at the end. Aquila with a level 5 Commissar. Level 6, Apothecary for Laur. Level 6 Warboss, a level 5 Warlock, and Karas did have a Land Raider on the way, but that was way too late. I think they were a newer player, but they held their own against some experienced players on the blue team. So well done, Karas. Keep on playing, buddy. Well, there you have it. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.